What's up, y'all? It's Ty. In this video today, we're going to be going over our road to getting our free 10 box in NBA 2K25. My team today, the greatest era 90s edition, unsellable 10 box. Took me right around one hour to complete, maybe a little over. And it is important to note, guys, it does say that these need to be done and pick up full lineup, but I do believe you can go into any game mode and get them done. I did finish my dunks in the breakout game mode, and so that's why I'm a believer that no matter what game mode you play, they will make progress. So maybe domination is your best method to doing so. Now I got a 10 box. It's the exact same 10 box as this. The only difference is mine is unsellable. So as long as 2K is legit, the pack odds should be the same. Now, am I saying the pack odds are good? No, they're actually horrible. But you should pull at least one ruby out of this 10 box and go from there. You guys can see less than 1% chance to pull a pink diamond. 1.5% chance out of each and every pack to pull a diamond. A 5% chance to pull an ami. And a 20% chance to pull a ruby. So, newsflash, guys. The odds of these packs are absolutely horrible. Along the road, guys, you do get two Sapphire Gems of the game as well. These guys do have a dynamic duo, but newsflash, guys, the dynamic duo is not great either. So, as far as this road, you do get some MT, you get some other things, but really, you're grinding this for the 10 bucks. Again, in an hour-long grind, I'm not going to complain too much. I did get, what, uh, 3,000 MT along the way, plus whatever else I got for completing uh, whatever games I completed. So... In general, guys, I don't think the road is super bad. Side note, guys, always do your exhibitions. One of the most important things that you can do. I'm one, I never recommend opening packs. And here's why. Because I'm going to be going through opening this up. But I'm telling you guys right now, the pack odds in NBA 2K25 my team right now are as bad as I've ever seen them. And I'm not trying to get you guys to feel some type of way about anything. That's just the truth behind it. Now, with this 10 box, you will get jerseys, you will get badges, and if you do get a duplicate player, you will be able to quick sell them for whatever their quick sell value is. But newsflash, guys, it's not going to be too much. So you just got to hope you pull some solid badges from these things, some solid jerseys, any of these things that can help add MT to your collection. Because like I said, guys, these players are not going to be good. At the end of the day, if you can pull a player that at least, you know, helps in an exhibition once in a while, that can help out too. Tyler Hero, not ideal right there. So far, we're 0 for 3 on these packs. I just want to see a shake, 2K. Is that too much to ask for to see one shake? Luca Garza? People say I look like Luca Garza. Yes, no? Let me know down below in the comments. High-flying denier. Uh, I'll take the badge, I guess. But so far, we are striking out big time on these packs. And am I surprised? No. And that's, that's why I told you guys at the start of this video, you can't really expect to pull anything from these packs. Yes, you hope you get enough, uh, or you, you get some cards for card collector. Yes, you hope you get some cards that can help you out in the exhibitions down the road. But as far as like pulling amethyst, rubies or above, I honestly thought I would. Based on the pack odds and what they say, they say you should pull at least one ruby from these packs. So if I don't, I mean, I am going to probably complain but at the end of the day, I feel like free packs are never as good as the packs in the market. You guys can let me know based on what you guys pull. But so far with what I have seen in this game with the deluxe packs weekly, I think on Fridays, those packs have been bad as well. So maybe it's just my, me having bad pack luck. Maybe you guys are actually pulling some decent cards. But I am not seeing it with these packs. I'm not seeing it with any of the free packs that we have seen thus far this season. Another Sapphire to add to our collection. That one's Bam out of bio. Do get Lightning Launch. Do get, you know, a Hawks jersey. Yikes is all I can say for these packs. Okay, an Ami. You know what? It's an Ami. Who do I hope for? Since it is unsellable, I honestly got to hope for a guy like Giannis. I've got a lot of Amis already in my collection. I guess it could be a Gems of the Game card. I guess I didn't think about that. But at least I did pull an Ami. So I guess I can't be too mad at the pack opening at the end of the day since I did pull an Ami. Honestly, I do hope it is a Gems of the Game card. No point guard. Do not show me point guard. Do not show me point guard. Western Conference. 75 mid-range? Disgusting. Power forward, this is Anthony Davis. Hmm. LeBron James? LeBron James, I'll take it. LeBron you can help my squad out. At least I think you will be able to help my squad out. The problem with the rest of these cards is 
I've already got the unsellable version of it. I guess with Mikhail Bridges, I don't, so I can send him to my auctions. Tyler here, I've already got the unsellable version of. Cat, I've already got the unsellable version of. So a lot of these things, guys, I can't really do a whole lot with. Like I can send some of those things to my auctions and you do make a little MT with that. The good part about this pack opening is I got LeBron James. And is he better than Sharif? I mean, probably not. I do like LeBron's release. Sharif probably is the overall better card, but LeBron's free. So at the end of the day, I'm probably gonna use this LeBron James and just make it work because he is unsellable. So I don't know, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll use Sharif, but LeBron is a card at least. I have in my lineup now and can maybe use the problem with Braun is again he is unsellable if I could sell this card he would be really really solid to have on the squad but the problem is I can't sell him so you guys can let me know your thoughts on what you guys pulled down below in the comments did you guys have any success with the pack op uh, packs today or not I like I said I feel like most times with the uh, free packs you are not gonna have too much success but let's say like a beginner, right? Pulled this LeBron James or a guy that really is no money spent pulled this LeBron James. This is definitely a card that can help you guys out in a big time way. Now for me again, I don't know. My squad's pretty solid at this stage. I guess I can sell my Shreve right now, but I just don't necessarily know if I love this LeBron. I do like his release, so maybe I'll use him. But that's kind of the downside to it is I feel like my team is already too good for that LeBron James card. But you guys should, I mean, at least have some success maybe with the packs. Maybe you'll pull a Ruby Ami that can help you guys out. At the end of the day, guys, this is one of the better things that we have had this year so far in the game. You do get some MT. You do get some free cards with Dennis Rodman, Dale Ellis. I don't think they are the best cards, but they are absolutely free. Can add them to your squad. Plus, you do get 3,000 MT, which isn't a ton, but does help it help the grind out a little bit along the way, as well as a 10 bucks. And who's to say, guys, that you guys won't go and pull, you know, a diamond? I'm not saying you will, but at least there is a chance with this 10 pack, uh, 10 box that you will pull a diamond. For me, I'm actually kind of surprised I even pulled an Ami. I was really open for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Obviously, Bron is fine he is what he is but uh, again not who i was ideally hoping for and i don't know if he really does have a spot on my squad or not as far as where the market at is at how many of these cards are being pulled supposedly right now these cards are really rare you guys are seeing there's a lot of these kenny uh kenny anderson's up but as far as like the rest of these cards you're seeing it they are relatively rare sure kenny anderson should be cheap throughout today the rest of the cards are going to probably be expensive. And as far as Pink Diamond, Chris Mullen, guys, this card is insanely expensive and is one of the best cards in the game. But again, you're not going to pull him today. I'm just being honest with you. You have a less than 1% chance to pull him. And we all know how 2K works, how 2K operates with their pack odds. Less than 1% truly means a basically 0% chance to pull that specific card. So don't have any high hopes that you're going to you know, have any success pulling Chris Mullen because it is not going to happen. I would say this though, if you can snipe any other diamond, maybe not Latrose pretty well, but if you can snipe like Seekly, like Grant Hill today, guys, those cards are all really, really good. And definitely cards that if you pull out of that free 10 box, that definitely could help your squad out in a big time way. So am I a fan of the content today? Kind of. But the bigger reason I'm a fan of it is because yes, if you rip packs today, you've got something for you. But if you are no money spent, you have something for you as well. You can grind the game, get some free cards as well as adding, you know, a 10 box to your collection. And even if you pull Amy Braun, guys, he might be able to help your specific squad out. If you pull like an Amy D book, you never know. Any of those cards could possibly help your squad out. I don't know what your squad is like right now, but I do know those, squ uh, those cards are definitely okay to run. So that's where I'm at right now with my squad, with everything else. Um, I'm kind of a little disappointed that I didn't pull anything really to help my squad out, but I guess, I mean, maybe I'll try this LeBron out because even compared to Jawan Howard, I don't know. I feel like LeBron is just as good, if not better than Jawan Howard. So I don't know where I'm at with my squad. It's just getting tough with all these unsellable cards. Maybe I'll sell some of my cards and chat them. And it's just tough because those guys are not like elite. They are okay to run in the game though. Let me know your thoughts on the today's drop on the ten, a free 10 box. Side note guys, these badges, some of them will sell for a decent amount. So for example, I'm going to try to find one that I, I pulled. I know I pulled gold high flyer denier, right? So this is a badge that right now is going to sell for 2000 MT. It, you might not think it's like the biggest thing in the world or that it really does matter a whole bunch. 
But when it boil, when it comes down to it, guys, some of these badges can sell for a decent amount. So if you do pull any of these badges, look, see if they do sell for anything because they could be worth your time. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.